Many people today are talking about global warming, but are they doing anything about it? Margie Hess, Gary Comer Youth Center's rooftop gardener, is trying to learn more about global warming. When we talk about global warming or climate change, who really knows what that means? Like these are buzzwords. There's a lot of debate about is there such thing as climate change and global warming and how do we know and if we know what does that really mean? Does it mean that you're going to pay more for gasoline? Does it mean that right here in Grand Crossing we're going to have a wind turbine someday? Does it mean that uh, cars that use alternative fuels will be widely available and we can all afford them? The garden at GCYC was chosen for a grant to study the effects of global warming. So the idea of the grant and the reason why they chose us is because they want to get to real people to do a real project, a hands-on project, to see how does this really work. These real people that Miss Margie mentions are actually children from GCYC. We had two seventh graders come last year and they said they wanted to start the environmental club and they wanted to start it because of the terrible things that were happening to the polar bears. Studying global warming is not the only thing Miss Margie does on the rooftop. Well, we grow food. We grew over a thousand pounds of food this summer and we gave it away to people in our community and we used it in our cooking classes. Um, I think it's a huge stepping stone for people because there is a garden on the rooftop of your school. That's a really crazy idea. And you saw pumpkins grow out there this summer. You, we've harvested peanuts and popcorn and all sorts of things. So I think it's a great uh, opportunity every day just to be in touch with, oh my gosh, there are things such as gardens and food grows in them and I could be part of that. Margie plans to grow food all winter. So there are tents out in the garden that um, are actually row covers. And what they do is they trap the heat from the building. So the building is going to have heat rise. And then when it's sunny out, we're going to have sun up here that's going to be warmer. So under those row covers, the soil probably won't freeze. So we're going to grow lettuces and spinach all year round, all through the winter, no matter how cold it gets. So I think that's really a place for us to see because if climate change is really taking place, then we can grow longer. Our growing season is longer. So instead of having to bring food in from places that are warmer, maybe we can grow food right here in Chicago. Global warming could affect the future generation. These issues are going to be decided by young people. They're not going to be decided by the people who made the problems. So if these problems were in the making for the last hundred years, those people are gone and you're going to inherit these problems. And so what you do about them, how informed you are, what kind of choices you make, what kinds of um, quality of life decisions you make, I think it's really in the hands of the people, of the younger people that are coming, are coming up. <laughs>